Epinephrine, with a generic form of phenytoin, is an anti-epileptic drug that is usually used to treat tonic-clonic seizures, which is a condition that causes twitching of the limbs, on which at first they become stiff and then it begins to shake, followed by periods of confusion. It also treats simple partial seizures and complex partial seizures, which are conditions where the patient has a particular problem in a certain focus or part of the brain. Phenytoin stabilizes neuronal membranes and decreases seizure activity by increasing efflux or decreasing influx of sodium ions across cell membranes in the motor cortex during nerve impulse generation. Through the promotion of sodium efflux from neurons, phenytoin tends to stabilize the threshold against hyperexcitability caused by excessive stimulation or changes in the environment that are capable of reducing membrane sodium gradient. Reduction of post-tetanic potentation at synapses occurs which prevents cortical seizure foci from detonating adjacent cortical areas. The maximal activity of brain stem centers are responsible for the tonic phase of tonic-clonic seizure is reduced by phenytoin. The thylamphin can be taken with food or milk to decrease stomach upset. It is best to give thylamphin the same time and the same amount every day. Don't take antacids at the same time with thylamphin as antacids can interfere with the absorption of thylamphin. Dilantin comes in liquid form, a chewable tablet, and capsule form. The liquid form should be shaken well before use. Do not stop this medication without the neurologist's approval as it may worsen the seizures. Dilantin is listed in pregnancy category, which means that there's a risk for the baby, but the benefits can outweigh the risk for some women. If taking dilantin, breastfeeding is generally safe, although a small amount of medication will appear in the milk, about 10% of the level of mother's blood. Call the neurology clinic or primary healthcare provider immediately if any of the following effects occur with dilantin. Problems with walking, vomiting, excessive sleepiness, Sometimes the lantin can cause easy bruising, rash, nausea, swollen glands, confusion, problem with balance or tremor, and sometimes even unusual heartbeat or palpitations. It is important to remember that all anti-epileptic drugs can increase the risk of suicidal tendency. So please inform a healthcare provider if any signs or symptoms of depression such as feeling guilty, insomnia, apathy, or overall agitated state. Some drug interactions that are specific to dilantin are phenobarbitals, aspirin and other NSAIDs, oral contraceptives, tricyclic antidepressants, trileptol, omeprazole, and St. John's Wort.